Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're starting off in a bit of a different location than usual today because in the last episode, we came just short of finishing our brand new quest for the Adventurer's Guild, I believe it was. We had to slay 10 green slimes and we only got to nine, so I thought it would be a good idea to jump right down here first thing. Actually, you know, we should take the elevator today because the elevator back here lets us go to certain floors that we've already adventured through. So why don't we go down to the deepest place we possibly can <laughs> where all of these creepy little bugs are flying around. We'll probably have a uh, better chance of finding slimes down here. And uh, hopefully we can finish up that quest for the Adventurer's Guild very, very soon. And then, actually, here's a slime right now. So we got very lucky here. There's our last slime. Wasn't that quick? So now we can actually enter the Adventurer's Guild. I'm just going to pick up this copper right here very quickly because I can't leave it behind. There we go. This should be... This should be it, right? There's just this little bug over here. <laughs> he doesn't have any bug meat for us, I guess. Okay, so that looks like that's all the copper. We'll run back over to the ladder and we will zip up and uh, take a look at the Adventurer's Guild. This will be our first time checking out, uh, whoops, <laughs> that's not gonna help us. This will be our first time checking out Marlin's Guild. We don't know much about Marlin because uh, we were never allowed into his little cottage here. We hadn't proved ourselves yet, but now, now I think we, oh, <laughs> it's open in an hour. Okay, that's okay. We can wait for that. Maybe there's something around here that we can pick up. Look at this over here. This bridge, there's bones in there. What on earth is all of this? That's very strange. It looks a little bit menacing. <laughs> I bet we'll have to fix that bridge at some point so we can cross over there wherever there actually is. I see some copper on the other side. Well, that's promising. We'll have to remember that. And now it should be open. There we go. Two o'clock. <laughs> Hello, Marlin. So this is the Adventurer's Guild here. Who's this? Is this Willie in a little rocking chair? No, it's Gil. Okay, we haven't met him before either. Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Well, I'm not sure what that would be yet. You should probably talk to uh, Marlin right here. Okay, he has a shop. Here's those sneakers that we found before. A wooden blade. Um, it I think our, our club is better than that, but I'm not positive. And then we have these rings here, an amethyst ring and a topaz ring. This, uh, one increases knockback and one increases, pr uh, weapon precision. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't look like we have enough gold to, uh, <laughs> purchase that just yet, but I would like to- Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to smash your things, Marlin. I would like to actually talk to you if I can, but it doesn't seem like, uh, that's going to happen. And the quest disappeared, so I guess we don't need to turn it into him, but, uh, this is the monster eradication goals. Help us keep the valley safe. Oh wow, they want us to slay a total of 1,000 slimes. <laughs> okay, uh, 125 cave insects, 30 duggies. I wonder if that was that uh, strange little mole creature. I bet that's probably what that was, those little moles in the ground that we found before. Okay, and then we see Gil to claim our reward, so we'll have to keep that in mind. We're still a very long way away <laughs> from uh, actually completing any of those goals, but that's something to keep in mind. It's something new for us to do here. So I, I don't know if there's really uh, anything else that we can do. He doesn't seem to want to talk to us too much. Um, I guess that's it. That's basically it. So let's head back out. Okay, so that was one of our quests completed, but the other thing we ended up um, accepting in the last episode was a quest for the wizard because he wanted us to slay even more slimes. <laughs> Nobody likes slimes in this world. They all want them to just uh, disappear, I guess. So we will attempt to slay a couple more slimes. I think we need maybe five more and then we'll be done with that quest as well. Let's just see if there's any more slimes down here and then we will zip down that ladder. Oh no, there's one of those bugs. <laughs> those crazy moths. Not sure what those are, but uh, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. They like to fly out and ambush you when you're not expecting it. No slimes here though, so let's just go down that ladder and uh, see if there's any on floor 12. Oh, here's the uh, floor with that minecart track. 
and some copper, which we can always use. And some slimes, there we go. Oh, I can't seem to hit this guy. <laughs> it's too far back. Our club is really nice. Ooh, especially like that, wow. Blocking him with the club is a good idea. Uh-oh, <laughs> I'll block you too, Mr. Moth. There we go. Let's get this copper here. They both distracted me from the copper. <laughs> they didn't want me to get that little bit of copper for myself. Another bug and another slime. We definitely need to look into possibly um, getting some more, I guess, well, we don't really have armor in this game, do we? We have boots. We can put boots on, some sort of hat, and those rings. So we, we definitely want to uh, fill up our slots, <laughs> I guess you could call them. So uh, we'll have an easier time in the mines. Ah, there we go, because uh, right now Jess is very, very underprepared for level 13 of the mines, as you can probably tell. But we do have our salmon berries. At least there's that. So we can eat our salmon berries, get our health and our energy back up to tip-top condition. <laughs> and then uh, we can, oh no, there's those little duggy things. And oh, there's so many here. Little, uh, I guess, crab rocks. I don't know what you would call those. And these flying bugs here with their bug meat. Ugh. This is where we got stuck in the last episode because I couldn't find the exit and then it was just too late. But luckily we have uh, two exits now, so let's pick up this copper again and then uh, I guess we'll go down the one right here. Why not? We'll see what's down here. Whoa! Oh, this area is overrun with monsters. This is like a slime cavern. What is this? Uh, well, we finished the wizard's quest, but I really want to see what's down here. I, I hope this isn't going to uh, be too hard for me. Oh, I am unprepared. It doesn't seem that bad, though. It's just full of slimes, and I think we can handle the slimes. Though I did see that huge slime on the left. I'm not so sure about him. We'll take a look, but uh, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's awful. They slow you down with their goo, get you stuck. Okay, here we go. Let's let's get rid of these little guys down here before we uh, try out the big one. Maybe take our salmon berries again, munch on a couple of those. We're running low on salmon berries. That was our last one. I'm going to uh, take our leeks out and put them there just in case. Because this guy worries me. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he hits hard, doesn't he? Oh, but we got him. Not bad. I guess it wasn't so hard. Oh, this guy is just playing with me now. There we go. <laughs> so did I clear out the whole cavern? I think I did. I think I actually did. Oh, a way down has appeared. Oh, okay. I thought we already had a way down, but it looks like I can't even get up now. Oh, I guess that means we have to go down another level. This one's just a regular cave. Interesting. I wonder what was, uh, what was up with that one. Just a little slime cavern <laughs> thrown into the mix. Now we're at level 15, so it looks like we have another elevator. It's a good choice going down, then. I almost went back up because it is, uh, getting late, but... Now we have an elevator, so we can just zip back down here when we want to uh, return. So there we go. That, that was a pretty good trip into the mines. I enjoyed myself quite a bit, and it's not too dark yet. Our torch still isn't working as we balance it on our heads, but uh, that's okay. And there's Sebastian walking through the dark. He doesn't have a torch either. Um, need something? I need some light, but <laughs> aside from that, I guess not. We really need to figure out what Sebastian would like for a gift. He doesn't like us too much yet. I'm not sure if he would like any of this. I'm guessing he doesn't want bug meat. <laughs> I really don't know who would want bug meat, but uh, probably not Sebastian. Or maybe he would. I don't know. What do you think? Would he like bug meat? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it looks like we have another quest here. Whoops, that would be the calendar, Jess. <laughs> um, oh, gosh, now the wizard wants a dandelion. All right. I guess so. Is his... uh? Oh, I think that might be expiring, and I don't know if we'll be able to go into his house right now. Hmm, well, we might have messed that one up a bit, but we can at least give him a dandelion. I'm sure we have some of those. 
And if not, I think I see one right up here. So let's just grab that. That's a dandelion. Okay. <laughs> I get these two confused. Daffodils and dandelions. Very confusing. Okay. So let's just pop some of our stuff in here. I have a lot of geodes to process. So maybe we should think about doing that in the morning. But uh, let's see. Cherry bombs. We still haven't used our cherry bombs either. That's something that uh <laughs> sounds very scary, but I'd like to know what they do. We're going to have to remember to actually use those and uh, probably smelt up some of our copper too. We have quite a bit of that. There has to be something that we can uh, make with our copper bars. Whoops, that should go in a different chest. Okay, um, let's see. Put our algae away. <laughs> Plenty of algae to go around. And there we go. I think I will take those geodes out in my tools. I have forgotten all about my lonely little tools up here. We'll bring our fishing pole in case we decide to fish for some reason. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. So let's see, let's tuck in a bed. Hello, Daisy. There's my little kitty, Daisy the farm cat. We'll go to sleep. There's uh, my <laughs> new green beans that grew in the morning. I tossed them right into that box so they could be sold. <laughs> Definitely could use the money. So now it's the 23rd of spring. Spring is actually almost over now. We're getting very, very close to summer. And then we'll have to plant all new uh, new crops. Apparently I didn't take my watering can. There we go. <laughs> all new summer crops. So I'll take a look at that letter as soon as I am done watering my crops here. And then uh, I'll see you then. Well, here's something I didn't think about before. Can you guess what that is? <laughs> I need a scarecrow up here. It looks like a little crow came down and munched on our tulips, which I am not at all happy about. So let's see if we can make another uh, scarecrow to sit up there and guard our flower bed. I believe, do we need coal and wood maybe? Was that it? Let's see, crafting. Okay, we also need some fiber, of course, to stuff our happy little scarecrow. So he is nice and big. Whoopsie, that is not where we need to go. We need crafting. There we go, there's our scarecrow. And let's uh, just throw these back in here so I don't lose them. And then, let's see, where should we put this guy? Let's see, right here? There we go, I, I think that'll cover all of our tulips. And uh, I just need to water these guys so they'll grow nice and strong <laughs> if I only had some water. Oh, we need to build a well so I don't have to keep walking all the way down here to fill up the watering can, but that will come in due time. I'm sure Robin is still waiting for us to uh, <laughs> actually buy one of her upgrades. Any of her buildings for that matter, she wanted us to build an upgrade for our house that included a kitchen, but that cost, I think it was 10,000 gold or something. So have a bit of saving up to do before we can actually uh, take advantage of that. But that'll be fun. Then we'll be able to use our crops for different recipes. Pam has already given us one, which was cheese collie, I think. And we were, uh, when we leveled up, we got the recipe for the survival burger. I'm interested to see what that might be. But first, we need a kitchen. <laughs> so let's see what this letter is over here. Dear Jess, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of the town where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. Mayor Lewis. Okay. So tomorrow's the flower dance. Oh my gosh. So the 24th of spring will be the flower dance. Oh, that reminds me all those beautiful flowers showering us in the past couple of days are gone as you can see, but I guess we don't have to be sad because uh, we'll have plenty of flowers to see tomorrow. So let's see, what should we do? We should go deliver our dandelion to the wizard. And I think it would be a good idea to gather up some gifts to bring around the town because if we need to find a partner for the dance, then uh, <laughs> we need to find someone who actually enjoys our company, which at the moment, not so much. <laughs> not many people are uh, into our little farmer here. So let's see, we need to bring the wizard his dandelion and then share some gifts with the townspeople. So where did I put my dandelion? I put it right here. We'll give him a nice uh, silver star dandelion, why not? 
give him something a little bit better than the usual. And I might as well just stuff my pockets full of stuff that I can hand out around town. Why not? Some people might like some seashells. That seems like a good idea. Maybe some topaz, some, uh, some quartz. This is a oyster. They call it a fish. Okay, so let's see. We'll give someone some oysters. <laughs> you think anyone would like my sneakers? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be using those anymore, so, uh, maybe. Let's give it a try. Why not? <laughs> but first, let's go to the wizard before we forget to do that completely. And then we will try to find some more people to, uh, spread the joy around for. There we go. There's the wizard's house. You can see his little steps. Let's see if he's home. Of course. Of course the wizard's home. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your... No, no, no. Don't eat that, Jess. Give it to the wizard, there you go. <laughs> ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. And again, accept. <laughs> there we go, there's our gold. Whoopsie, okay. So let's see. Do you think uh, maybe he'd like a topaz? We'll give him a gift too, because why not? Yeah, he likes that, many thanks. This item has some very interesting properties. He seems to like different types of uh, stones because we gave him an earth crystal, I think it was, in the last episode, and he was so happy with that. <laughs> he had the same crazy face on, so I think we did a good job picking out gifts for him. But, uh, well, I guess we can just hope that we will do the same for everyone else in the town. Some of the people have not liked our gifts so far, which is why they're, uh, a little bit suspicious of us right now, I guess. But uh, we should probably go into the town to try to find some more people. Before it gets too late, let's quickly go to the blacksmith and crack open our geodes because uh, there might be some interesting things in there that we could hand around town too. And we don't want to forget about that. Let's see, process geodes, one. <laughs> what on earth is that? What, Jagalay? I don't know if anyone's gonna want that. <laughs> There's an earth crystal. Uh, uh oh, that doesn't look good either. Mudstone. <laughs> I don't want to give that to people. Oh, that's pretty though. Jamborite. Hmm. I wonder what you can do with that. Is that just another? It's a mineral, so we could donate that. All of these things can be donated, actually. Um, I don't know if we want to though. <laughs> it's very confusing. Let's see. Hey, Vincent. Sigh, Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. Oh, poor Vincent. <laughs> what? Ha ha. Hi. Hi, Jazz. She doesn't, uh, really know what to do with us either. Maybe she would like a quartz. Let's see. Does she like rocks? Is this a gift? Oh, <laughs> nope. She does not like rocks. Okay, and we know Vincent doesn't like rocks because, uh, we tried give him, giving him a geode for his birthday and he was not happy about that. So we're not going to give him a rock. Uh, would he like a leak? No. <laughs> this isn't very fun. <laughs> Sorry, Vincent. I am really bad at getting gifts for the kids, but we'll learn eventually. So Sam, what would Sam like? Um, maybe he'd like a topaz? It, it's the same color as your hair, Sam. <laughs> Thanks, I really like this. All right. All right, we did something good here. Uh, Elliot is down here, and he lives on the beach, so, uh, well, here, a great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. <laughs> I remember him saying this before, but, uh, do you think he would prefer an oyster or a clam? Let's give him a clam. Oh, a present, thank you. Okay, he's not overjoyed, but, uh, he seemed to appreciate that, so that's nice. Okay, let's see, anyone in the town square? Well, there's Haley down there. Looks like she's going home. Maybe I can give her this uh, shell really quick. Thank you, I love presents. You're welcome, Haley. Okay, so we're down to one seashell here, one little clam. Uh, we have some quartz here that we can give away, another earth crystal. Uh, I'm not gonna give anyone the mudstone because that doesn't look right at all. <laughs> and uh, all these things would probably be best to donate to the museum anyway, so we'll just keep those in our backpack for now. Let's see, would Penny maybe like this little shell? Thanks, this looks nice. You're welcome, Penny. I guess she enjoyed it. Again, not overjoyed with our selection, but uh, <laughs> appreciated nonetheless. So let's see, Gus in here. I think he would probably like this oyster because he could use it while uh, he cooks some yummy food maybe. No, 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 <laughs> no. 
<laughs> he hates it. Oh, gosh. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Would he like a leak instead? Maybe? Oh, you've already given Gus a gift today. <laughs> a really bad gift. I'm sorry, Gus. I didn't mean to offend you. My goodness. Okay, we know that uh, Emily likes different stones. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. She likes it very much. Uh, Pam, I don't think she's going to like any of these things, so we're just going to skip her for now. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, Pam, but I also don't want to give you something that you will absolutely hate. So, <laughs> just going to skip you for now. Anyone in here, maybe? Well, there's George and uh, Alex. The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else you'll get all pale. Hey, do you want to hang out with me at the beach sometime? Do you have a bikini? Really, Alex? <laughs> okay, Evelyn, don't mind my husband George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Actually, that would be a good idea. We did, uh... Oh, he looks so sad today. Hmm, looks like another gloomy day. It's not gloomy at all, George. You just need to go outside and enjoy the sun, just like uh, Alex <laughs> wants us to do. So let's see, what could we give George that he would like? I remember him wanting an earth crystal before to put under his pillow. Yeah, he likes it, thanks. He gave us a big smile. You're welcome, George. And Evelyn has a little bit more to say. I'm sure you two could become good friends some, eh, <laughs> one day. I think so too, Evelyn. Since you're so interested in my husband, I'll let you in on a little secret. He really likes leeks. You can find them in the mountains this time of year. Oh, I wish we gave him a leek then. <laughs> they won't let us uh, give him more than one gift, right? Yeah, we can only give him one a day. That's too bad, but we'll remember that. We have to remember that. He likes leeks, okay? <laughs> I don't know about Clint, though. He, uh... I'm not sure if he would want stones because he sees so many of them during the day. Copper and stones and all sorts of ore. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to give me the correct ore. I remember him saying that. So I don't think he would want a quartz, but would he like an oyster? Sigh. <laughs> no, don't give Clint oysters. He's not a fan. Okay. <laughs> we have to figure out what he likes. He's always so sad and shy and gloomy. Oh, wiggly worms. I almost missed these guys. All right, let's see what's in here. Is it another book? No, it's a prehistoric hand axe. Alrighty then. <laughs> we already donated that to the museum, so I wonder what we can do with that now. I don't know who would want that as a gift. Maybe the wizard? Maybe he could figure out something to do with that. I don't know. <laughs> That's a mystery, but uh, let's say good night to our little kitty, Daisy. Good night, Daisy. And we'll tuck Jess into bed nice and early because tomorrow is going to be the flower festival, the flower dance, I believe it was called. So we will have a very exciting day in store for tomorrow. But for now, I will say goodbye to you all. Jess will say good night and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.